since Super Typhoon Haiyan ripped through the Philippines, killing thousands, crushing communities, and destroying livelihoods. The path of its destruction is immense, and basic necessities are still in very short supply. An influx of foreign aid workers and troops arrived Thursday, and in some parts of the disaster zone, life is getting a little better. Elsewhere, there's growing frustration, even panic, along with scattered reports of violence, including gunfire, robberies, and rapes. Even those who found shelter in the city of Tacloban's Astrodome before the storm say the situation is miserable, and it's not really clear who's in charge. Michael Delaney is the director of humanitarian assistance for Oxfam America, who joins us now from Boston. Thanks so much for being with us. Uh, let me be very frank. By all accounts, the emergency relief effort is going badly. A lot of people are surprised. Are you? Well, we have to look at the, the entire context here. Uh, the Philippines is a poor country to start with. And putting on top of that, uh, the most severe storm that uh, we've seen in, in recorded history, that hitting land and really um, creating a, a devastating situation. Some of our reports that, that our team have seen, uh, experienced people have seen things that they have not seen before. We're without water, um, electricity, uh, fuel. Uh, these, all of these things contribute to a very difficult situation, this being day seven. Now, you say day seven. It has been a week. We are hearing um, pledges of hundreds of millions of dollars. The U.S. has moved an aircraft carrier in. The United Kingdom is moving an aircraft carrier in. Aid agencies like your own are, are moving people into position. Uh, why doesn't this start succeeding faster? Well, I was also uh, a part of Oxfam's response here in the United States during Katrina. And I can assure you that day seven in, in the United States, there were communities that were insecure and also had not received aid. Um, and that's in a country, the, one of the richest countries in the world, uh, where we have a, a strong federal government, strong state and municipal governments, and um, a generous uh, giving of, of the American people. Uh, this storm is on an, an impoverished area um, with a, um, uh, that has been utterly flattened. And so these are factors contributing to uh, the, uh, where we are today. How much does all 